Well, my next video was going to be of Ruby having her babies, but she's still pregnant. Instead, I said that uh, I would do a video introducing all the animals. So here we go. All of our goats are Nigerian dwarf goats. They're a dairy goat. Uh, and we have them registered. This is Ruby. She has Swiss markings on her face with a black cape. She is a year old and should be having her babies any time. Um, normally Ruby's not like this, but since she's pregnant, she is awfully affectionate. But right now, she will let me do anything. Hates this. She hates this. Um, but right now, she doesn't mind. This is shortly after we got her. Ruby, come on! This is Lefty, the dad. I don't want to touch him too much. Like I said, wax pee on themselves. And it smells really bad. Before he got stinky, Lefty was really fun to play with. He was a real active little buckling. I have some video of that. Jack is another little bug, but he's not peeing on himself as fast as Lefty did. <laughs> on the size of his chin, I don't know why people like him so much. Um, he's also naturally pulled. That means he doesn't have horns. He will hopefully pass that on to his kids. He was raised by his mom and bottle fed, so he's extremely um, friendly. He's getting more bucky though because he's trying to hip up me. In April he will be breeding the two next girls that I'll show you and then he will go in the buck pen with Lefty to be a stinky boy. We have a pirate theme so his full name is Jack Rackham. This is Anne Bonnie. She's another Swiss marked goat. She's a very affectionate goat and she's always curious. Always has to be in the middle of what you're doing. Anne's disbudding didn't go right and she has a little bit of a horn. Uh, that's called a skirt. Lefty has one too. Hopefully they don't grow too big. This is Mary Reed. She is our most skittish goat. She's come a long way though, let me pet her. She had coccidiosis last October, and I had to catch her and shove pills down her throat. And then she had the worst case of goat lice. Once again, people can't get goat lice of all the goats. And so her hair doesn't look the greatest right now. And by the way, she was given ivermectin to kill the lice immediately. All of them were. These two girls will be bred by Jack. Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed were female pirates who sailed and fought with Jack Rackham.
Gromit here is 11 months old. We got him a couple months ago. He's pretty sweet, but his brother Wallace loves to headbutt me. He can be sweet, but he just wants more treats. Wallace and Gromit are baby doll South Down sheep or Old English sheep. They're an ancient English breed and their smaller size was a better portion of meat for families before refrigeration so that there wouldn't be much waste. They're also used in vineyards. They can't reach the grapes, but they can keep the weeds down below. Cows are Peppermint Patty, the Longhorn Mutt, Earl, no family relation, is the Bull, and behind them is Blackie, that's Earl again, Clementine, Philip, Blake, and Freckles. These are my bourbon red turkeys. I bought eight of them. I've since sold one and lost Samantha. I did raise them from about two weeks old. We have nine chickens. Ethel, Pinky, Lavender, Cho, Grayback, Buckbeak, Julie, named after a friend, Cindy, and Blondie. These are our Bob White Quail. I need to restock them in the spring, but everybody in the neighborhood whistles to them and likes to hear them. Peyton is my poison dart frog, who is not poisonous in captivity. Their poison comes from the food they eat in the wild. Courtney is my betta fish, named after a friend. Miley is a red golden retriever. She is daddy's girl but she loves her mama too. Milo loves to swim. She loves treat time. She loves snuggling and sleeping and playing with her brother. She's a real good girl. Kaipu is an Anatolian shepherd mix. They're livestock guardian dogs. 
and he is a mama's boy and follows me around like a shadow. He's a picky eater. He loves walks, playing with his sister and squeaky toys. He also sleeps in a lot of weird positions. <laughs>